paradiso su terra. This is heaven on earth. That's what most people say when they see your high altitude coffee estates. I am so happy I came here. I always wanted to see where, where my favorite coffee comes from. And now I'm here. Coffees of India. Buonissimo. And I want to know everything about it. Where it's grown, how it's nurtured, and how do you achieve such diversity? Everything. <laughs> well, I can't show you all that from here. We'd have to travel all over India for that. But if you want to know about Coffees of India, it's simple. Just find Coffee Swami. Coffee Swami? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. How do I meet him? Swami! Sir! My friend, welcome to India's largest coffee producing region, Robustas, Arabicas. This is where you'll find them all, with a special twist. Mm, what's that? A hint of chocolate and a dash of spice. Some of our coffee grows with oranges and has a tangy taste. Some of it grows with pepper. Mm. And some of it is flavored with cinnamon and cardamom. See? You know in India, many different communities live in harmony. So do our coffees. They live in perfect harmony with spices, fruits and herbs. They imbibe their delicious flavors and spice up your coffee with these exotic touches. You see Mario, we grow our coffees in forests. We even create forests where there were none to grow our coffee. Huh? 
Coffee Swami? What, what's the fruit you're hanging from now? It's not a fruit, Mario. It's a vegetable. It's called Chow Chow and it creates the perfect shade for our coffee. Mario, you are now in India's highest coffee growing region. Oh, Suwami. Thank you. You are very kind to return. Come, come. Meet the people who look after our coffees. They're not just workers, they're caregivers. They sow the seeds with love in their hearts. They tend to the young plants and keep them free of pests. And they follow nature friendly methods that keep the soil from being denuded. They do all this Mario so that you can taste the good karma of feeding back into the land everything your coffee receives from it. Mario, <laughs> do you know what you would have seen here a few years ago? A fishwami, you and your riddles. Okay, I, I give up. What? Nothing. These hills were denuded, barren. Introducing coffee cultivation here has given them a new life. And it has given the tribal people a livelihood. So there really is good karma in our coffee. Oh, Café Swami, I've got you at last. You are a very elusive guru indeed. I've been looking everywhere for you. But now that I've found you, tell me something. What makes coffees of India so special? No, no. The coffees of India are not just special. They are a diverse range of 16 coffees. Each one unique and distinctive from the others. Our coffees were born from seven magical beans more than 400 years ago. In the 17th century, Baba Budan tasted kave for the first time in Arabia. Amazingly refreshed, he wished to carry back some coffee plants to his homeland as a gift to his people. But the local law forbade it. So Baba Budan picked up seven perfect coffee beans instead and carried them back to India. That's how the exotic coffees of India were born. 
with seven magical beans and a dream in a holy man's heart. Today, carrying the wonderful karma and good intentions of Baba Budan, those seven beans have blossomed into 16 unique varieties of coffee. From these magical beans, three of our finest specialties have emerged. Robusta Kapi Royale, Mysore Nuggets and Monsoon Malabar. You know Mario, there is a very romantic story behind our Monsoon Malabar. In fact, you could say this coffee is nature's own creation. Many years ago, when coffee beans were being transported to Europe over a long voyage, a wonderful accident occurred. Monsoon winds caused the beans to swell, change color and acquire an intensely mellow flavor that won connoisseurs over. Today, that magic is recreated by monsooning the best beans at curing works. Isn't that wonderful? An accident of fate has now become one of the world's most wanted coffees. As you can see, our coffees are grown in diverse conditions, lending each one a unique and distinctive flavor. In fact, the coffees of India are just like Indians, individually different but bound by one unifying spirit. They're all Indian. You can say that our coffees are our gift to the world. So, these are uh, Robustas from uh, Kurg and these are Arabicas from uh, Pulni, right? As you say in Italy, bellissimo! <laughs> so now, I can be coffee suami too, right? Not quite, amico mio. For that, you would have to be born 400 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I found what I was looking for. The magic behind coffees of India. No, all these different types of beans. Each one distinctive, each one unique, but all deliciously Indian. 